Welcome people to another video for the channel and this is gonna be a special one especially if you're thinking of playing Star Citizen for the first time you're taking advantage of the IAE Expo this is basically a sales event for CIG this is the moment in which they make bank it's also an opportunity for you to buy a decent game package a ship plus the game at a somewhat reasonable price I always suggest that you keep in mind that this is a very buggy alpha tech demo more than a game the criticisms i've expressed numerous times still very much hold and are unlikely to change in the near future but there's something to be enjoyed here and for most people maybe 50 60 70 bucks it's not that big of a deal and you can have a lot of fun all right but please do keep in mind that you will have issues it will be buggy it will be messy and servers may not always work that great especially now there's a lot of people playing for free yes you can play for free right now so you don't have to do anything else just Follow the link there below to robertspaceindustries.com. When you create your account, use a referral code. You can use a friend's referral code. You have my referral code there below, which I appreciate if you use. It's going to be giving you 5,000 credits of in-game money. And if you use it on special occasions, on certain events, you even get a ship. So no matter when you're watching this video, use always the referral code. Now, having said all of that and the disclaimers already expressed, you have now an opportunity to buy a game package for somewhat reasonable money let's get into which game package is the one i recommend which is probably not what cig wants you to buy right now look you're gonna go here pledge store you're not buying a game key legal aspect you are pledging so there's no obligation for them to do much other than what they're doing when they want to do it you have the Gatak uh, Suelen, which is the new hotness alien ship, uh, which I recommend you don't buy. I actually have an uploaded video already. Go check that one out. It is big, it is fast, it has good guns, it is cool, but it's also a little bit too big and too complicated and not convenient, especially for someone playing for the first time, especially given how you're always looking upwards when landing and taking off. It really messes up with your... Um, uh, direction and really it's, it's just not the ship I recommend but let's go here to view all the game packages so as to analyze the different options and I'll say which one I recommend for different budgets for different play styles you have here Warbond. Warbond means you have to spend real new money for people that have been playing this for a while if you bought something you can exchange it for a credit in game in CIG and you can buy new stuff with that money you already spent but Warbond means you have to use new money so as to buy this that's why there's a nice discount 72 bucks is what this is going for right now 40 bucks is the cheapest one if you want to play for the cheapest possible option go with not this one for five extra bucks i would suggest going with the aurora mr this is a ship that you have four hard points those are the points where you attach guns two guns attached already two empty hard points for a couple more size one guns since you use the referral code you have a little bit more money and you can go buy yourself those guns right away and this will make it a very decent fighter yes even more decent as a fighter than your swilling given how big this is this also has two size one shields this one has four guns this one has three guns the guns are a little bit bigger but in Star Citizen at this moment, it's more a matter of how many guns rather than how big it is. So, the advice is the following. For your basic, cheapest possible way to get into this, go with this one. Why not the Mustang Alpha? This looks cool. I like it. Well, this one is lacking the bed. And the bed is important. Now, the bed in the Aurora is tiny there in the back. And you actually have to wear your undersuit and your helmet so as to not die of suffocation because there's no air for whatever reason. Again, glitches of the Alpha stage of this game. So, five bucks more, you get the ship with the bed which i recommend you want to spend 40 bucks be my guest go with that but really for five bucks more i don't see the point in doing that then you have a bunch of our ships you actually have the this is the one they're promoting now it's again big it's it's cool but again go watch the video where i explain why i would not recommend it i would avoid this one the alpha starter pack mustang alpha yeah i mean i would avoid these two um what about the c8x Pisces. This is a cool ship. Again, issue, it hasn't got a bed. 
right? This one is lacking interior space where you can stand inside, and that is actually handy for dropping packages. That you can do with your Aura MR. Most of the things, I mean, all of the things you would do as a new player, you can do with the MR at kind of like half the price of the swelling, and it's going to be even faster and more nimble and more... Um, quicker to get in and out of so that's why I like the little Aurora MR there's also moving down we have the cutter the cutter is a great ship it was even greater when it was selling in last year's promotion for 45 bucks which is what I recommended back then 45 bucks decent little ship fun it's okay it's not great but it is okay um, you have a nice interior space. It looks like a like a little bit of the a Razor Crest from the Mandalorian. Has that atmosphere to it, that vibe. Um, it has a bed. It has a bathroom, which doesn't make a difference. That there's nothing on that in game. You do have a little bit of a garage there where you can park a, a small vehicle, Grey Cat STV or PTV. The tiny ones, the two smallest ones, fit right there. And you have a little bit of cargo. I think it's like six SU of cargo capacity that it has. Six, yeah, about that. It's really not big, but you can do a little bit of cargo. 100i starter pack. This is a cool little BMW little ship. It has just one size, one shield, same as a cutter. It's quite nimble, a little bit more expensive, and a lot tinier. Usually, this would not be the one to recommend. This is something I recommend buying in game. It does have a bed, it is very fast, it is quite nimble and agile, and it's not really great for fighting, but it's gonna be a little bit better for fighting than your cutter. But if that's what you want, I mean, go with the Aurora. The Aurora is better than the 100i for combat. And then we finally get to what I recommend as a starter pack if you want to spend a little bit more money, which is the Avenger Titan. 75 bucks is about what you pay for a, a AAA new game these days. So, again, save money, buy this one. If you later want to upgrade to this one, you can do that. But with your Aurora, you have a first ex ex experience of the game. And then if you want to upgrade, you just buy what's called a CCU, a ship upgrade. A chassis upgrade. You go here, you buy by paying that difference, you apply that upgrade to your Aurora, and you still end up with your Avenger Titan if you're not happy with your MR. But for this money, why is it that I recommend the Avenger Titan so much? I will have a separate video on that, but quick to the point is this is a great vehicle for combat. You can access it from the front there directly as in a fighter ship. You can access it through the back. It's the only starter ship mentioned so far that has two access points, including the new alien swillen ship. So that makes it very convenient for a number of, of situations. You have a ramp, you can get a great cat PTV vehicle in there, the only um, four-wheel vehicle that fits in there, but you can get it. It's available in-game, very affordable. So you buy that little car in-game and you throw it there in the back. And the ramp is pretty generous. You can just walk in there and you have a bed. So it can do cargo, it can do boxes, courier, it's convenient, it's great for combat as well. You have two size 3 hard points and one size 4 hard points and you have a ejection seat that can come in handy for clearing your crime stat in Korea. For all of those reasons and a lot more, get yourself the Avenger Titan is this if the price you're willing to pay, okay? So these two would really be the recommendations. You can go with this one, but really 60 bucks, just get the, the Avenger Titan instead. And then you have the ships that I just don't recommend. Arrow, 90 bucks, great fighter, but you know why you're not uh, able to move boxes. A Nomad, Starter, I mean, no, really, the Nomad, I, I will just take the Titan over the Nomad any day. Cuddy Black, this is a great ship. It's a lot more expensive, though. You're starting to look at quite a bit of money, and with the Avenger Titan, in just a day of playing, just a few hours, you can buy yourself the Cuddy Black in-game. So there's no point in spending 125 bucks in it. And then you get into stupid money ships, which, you know, anyone with a little bit of common sense would avoid. So those are the recommendations, guys. Trust me on this. I've been playing Star Citizen for quite a while, I've been super critical of the things that I don't like, but I will be the first one to raise my hand and say yes, there is fun to be had in spite of all the controversy and uh, aspects that are not so positive. Guys, that's going to be all for now. If you appreciate my content, uh, do use the referral if you're signing up for the first time. And please, do subscribe to the channel. There's going to be more stuff coming up. If you have any questions, any specific videos you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below as well. Take care.